We got a special guest today. His name is Timur, and that's my nephew. Say hey. Hi. And he brought me this uh, PS4 some time ago that has a problem with the HDMI port. And if we take a look at the back of it, it can clearly be seen simply by looking at those two pins or maybe even more than two pins coming out on the left hand side. So uh, there are plenty of tutorials online uh, that you guys can see how to disassemble uh, the device. And as you can see, we were just watching one of them. Actually a really good tutorial. I'm gonna definitely hit like for this. Thank you for that info. Um, but it's pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go ahead and uh, preheat this board right now for a few minutes. Everybody who does this for a living told me that these boards are really, really thick. And it does look like it's a really thick board. But um, I'm gonna heat it up and uh, once it's nice and warm, we'll remove the connector and uh, replace it with a new one that we picked up. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy the show. So this is what it looks like. You guys can see on a scope view, you can totally tell fairly easily that uh, the connector is busted. I'm just hoping that it didn't take the pads with it because if it has, no, it looks like the pads are all in intact. So this is uh, all of this solder that um, uh, keeps the anchors in place. It's all lead free solder. So we're gonna try to get rid of it as much as possible. You guys can see there's quite a lot of flux up here. And uh, then Turn the preheater on and let it heat up the board for a bit. I'm just gonna use a little bit of uh, tape to protect the uh, plastic around the connector that we're removing. So it starts to lift. And it's out. Is so it how did your problem start? Uh, so I was playing the on Friday, I think. And then I just, and then the next morning, I was trying to play, but then the HDMI wasn't working, so. But how did you know that it was HDMI? Uh, because it was not connecting to the, because I tried about three HDMI cables and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. So then, so then I was say, what's wrong? But it was with the PS4 um, port. So then I asked someone, why is it not working? And then they said, it's, it's that. So I asked my uncle to do it. Okay, but before you ask your uncle, what uh, what did you see um, your PlayStation was doing at the time? What what kind uh, of uh, it was, symptoms? It was just when I turned on the TV, it just had like a black gray, uh, kind of like a shh. Like a noise. Yeah, like okay. a noise, and it was not turning anything. Okay, but what about the lights on the PlayStation? Did you see any lights? Oh, so on the light, it was just clear white like no blue like you know when you turn on the ps4 it's blue it's, it's, it was just white so mm -hmm. i i knew something was wrong 
Okay, so did you go YouTube it or how yeah, did you Yeah, I f first I got like afraid. Why is it not working? So mm -hmm. then I ch checked some YouTube videos and he said it's probably your USB port. I mean, HDMI port. So, yeah. So do you think it's going to work today? Yeah, I think it's going to work. Okay, let's find out. So these pads clean off easily, but I wasn't really worried about those. Finished up the repair, final product looks pretty good. There's the connector, all nice and cleaned up, both sides. Um, what can I say about this process? The biggest challenge with this procedure uh, I found was the thickness of the board, um, keeping the board warm and putting the connector in. The connector uh, wasn't all that great, when it went in into the anchor holes, it did not seem like it aligns with the pads uh, correctly. I just had to bend the actual anchors to the side so that uh, it would offset the position for, to line up pins with pads. Uh, it worked out pretty good as you guys could see the total uh, uh, connection is solid now. Um, I don't suppose this connector ever is gonna have another problem. I have a spare just in case if it ever breaks again. I'm gonna make my nephew do the whole process on its own and I'll just monitor. I did get some Arctic uh, Silver 5 for it. Now if you see the HDMI port, doesn't have those two pins. I'll show you what the original HDMI port looked like. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but if you look inside of it, on this side, two pins are kind of pointing down. And on the back end, 
right here you can see where they came out they're just literally like pushed out just gonna go ahead and connect it the blue light we turn on the TV and there it is seems like it's working like this video and if you didn't subscribe yet subscribe